Active Campaign Kajabi Thrivecart. In this video, we're going to cover how you can add, remove Thrivecart customers to your Kajabi account via Active Campaign without using Zapier. And my recommendation is you want to do this so you have less moving parts that can break. Now, to make this happen, you're going to want to take advantage of Kajabi's inbound webhooks, the activation URL and the deactivation URL. And we're going to paste in URLs that look like this into our active campaign account. So let's dive right in. To start with, I want to make sure my Thrivecart product is connected to active campaign. So I've got a product in test mode. I'm going to go to behavior, click on add a rule, and I want to have something associated with purchase and refund at least, and then typically these, but I'm going to start with purchased. I'm going to put them into an automation. So disregard the name. So this would be something different, but for testing purposes, this will accomplish what we want. And then I'm also going to do refund. Now we should probably go look at those automations, deadline funnel main purchase and deadline funnel refund, which I've got right here. So here's the purchase. And then whatever else I'm doing here, I also want to do a web hook. So down here, typically at the bottom, I'm going to go to conditions and workflow, the purple web hook, and I'm going to give it a URL. Same goes for the refund automation. I'm going to simply add conditions and workflow, webhook, and now I want to go into Kajabi and find the offer and then place find the URL to put in here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to products, offers. I'm going to create a new offer. Nothing out of the ordinary. This is just for testing purposes. Now you want to go to more actions webhooks. I want to copy this and notice it says required parameters are name, email, and external user ID. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that. So here's the webhook URL I copied. I also want to append this to it. The question mark email, percent email, ampersand name equals, etc. All the way out through send offer grant email true. So now I'm going to copy that, go back to active campaign in the main purchase, and I'm going to paste that URL in right there on save. I want to do the same thing for deactivate. So I'm going to go here and then I'm going to copy this, go into here to the refund automation, click on save. So now when somebody, for instance, purchases, we know they get put into this automation. Last thing it does, is it sends information to this Kajabi webhook, which should add them to the what I call test offer, and then send out an email that grants them access. And then the same thing goes for if they refund. So let's do a test purchase here. So I just received this email and zero minutes ago and I now have access. Let's go double check. So I should be in here now. E winning plus test one. There I am. I went through the main purchase, which has the automation. And if I go in here, I should be able to find myself. So I've previously added myself, but let's see what access I have. Should have access to test right there. So I just added momentarily. Now, if I do a refund, same thing. I'm going to get access removed. So that's how you integrate ActiveCampaign, Kajabi, and Thrivecard.